welcome. You are here with Dr. Nilda Perez with Business Foresight, creating strategies towards your extraordinary future. Hello and welcome to another episode of Dr. Nilda Show, the Business Foresight. And today I have with me a very amazing young lady, a 14-year-old, a Shayla Michelle is the founder of Cook Me Up A Notch, her very own business. She is a pastry chef, she is an author, and she's a youth advocate. She is the creator of Kit Chef Dreams Pastry Subscription Box. She has created Bakeology, and Bakeology is founded on STEAM, the, the five um, areas of science, technology, and uh, engineering, art, and math. Right, okay, so I'm very excited to have her, but more than that, uh, or in addition to, I'm not gonna say more than that, in addition to, we also have her brother, Amari. Amari is her sous chef. He is an eight year old who is also working with his sister and he is creating like the other side of the business. He loves to cook, although he also bakes, but he also loves to cook and he is an aspiring chef. So we have with us two very amazing kids. I met these children a few weeks back at the, uh, at the STEM conference, STEM con. And I was very, in the beginning I thought, cause the mom was with them and I thought this was the mom's business that they were helping her. And shortly thereafter, when I had, I was a few minutes into the conversation, I realized that it was their very own business. And although of course the mom oversees it, they're running their business. So, thank you for being here, Michelle. Thank you for having me. Thank you, Mari. Thank you for having me, too. So, tell me, you're 14 years old, and you didn't start this today, so when did you start this, and when did you see that you really had something of an entrepreneurial heart? Well, I grew around a lot of people who inspired me. So, my grandma, she taught me how to bake, and my mom had an organization, so I helped with that. So, it just once it just clicked and I put my love for baking and my helping with my mom's business and I put that together and I created my own. Wow. So you created your own. So, I mean, how old were you when you decided to create your own business? I was 12 when I started my business, but my love for baking um, um, was from when I was nine years old. Okay. So as a child, you were very, you are probably younger than that you were already loving baking yes. and then by nine years old you knew yes. that this was something that you wanted to do yes okay so but this has been um again at 12 years old you knew you wanted your own business you knew you would be starting your own business i didn't know that i was be starting my own business it kind of happened um i was um teaching myself how to bake um other recipes my grandma taught me how to make homemade biscuits and that was like Wow, I actually like to get in the kitchen and bake. So I just started on YouTube and I looked up other recipes and I started selling them to the people at school. And my mom just said, "You, it looks like you have a business, what you want to call it? And it just kind of happened. Okay, so I, I was in school. Yes. I was 12 years old and I never thought of selling anything to anybody, truth be told. So um, I bought stuff and I knew what I wanted. I had a whole list of things that I wanted my mom to get me because at 12 years old, of course, I didn't have my own business. So here's what's fascinating to me. You, you, when, how did you think you could sell your cupcakes? Like what made you think that selling them was the right thing to do? I mean, I think it's excellent, but at eight years old, nine years old, 10 years old, even 12, what made you think you can sell these? I think my friends kind of played a part in that way because they tasted my desserts and they was like, this is so good, you should sell them. In my mind, I wasn't really thinking about selling my desserts. And so they just said, you should sell these. These are really good. Um, I think people would buy them because school lunch was not really that good. So I think they would really need something <laughs> to eat. Okay. So they were willing to buy them yes. from you. So at that point you you priced them and you started selling it to them yes so everything started off a dollar and then when I had my business cook me up a notch we had to actually learn how to price our stuff what they were worth and stuff like that okay okay so Mari I have a question for you your your sister is sous chef and I hear you're really good and I hear that you can also cook yes what 
what fascinated I me? Mean, you're eight. Like your sister started when she was what? Twelve. Twelve. You're eight. What made you want to be a part of this? They, most eight-year-old kids just want to go, like, I don't know, ride their bikes or skateboarding. You're actually involved in your sister's business. What made you want to do this? Oh, well, well, me and Shay have something in common. I actually started in school where I had, we had this project and she was like, my teacher was like, what do you want to be when we grow up? And I had, we had like to write down and like write a picture of what we want to be when we grow up. And I said Coolidge Academy where I like cars and all sorts of things like that. Okay. So, and you, you like, you enjoyed that, but what else do you enjoy? Do you enjoy the cooking? What about cooking is fascinating to you? Well, when I said, so Shayla baking, I was like, why not, why can I not do that? And I was like, can I be a part of your business too? And she was like, yes. Really? Okay. Now you make, you do more than just the baking. What else do you do? I also had, we had this event at Williams in Sonoma and I was like. Williams in Sonoma? <laughs> oh my goodness, tell me about it. <laughs> and, I, and I was like cooking some chicken and waffles. What? I yes. Love, I love chicken and waffles. I love them. <laughs> okay. So, and you, and you did it well, and people liked it. People enjoyed what you were cooking? Yes. So you were like, yeah, I think I'm onto something here, huh? Some people even said I should be on MasterChef Junior. Oh, I totally agree. I totally, totally agree. So you guys have a business, but then you've done so much more. One of the things that has fascinated me, well, there's so many things I have to tell you. When I met you, Ashayla, I mean, we were, I mean, actually we were in this, we were exhibiting and I had, you know, we were setting up my table and I was speaking and then I saw your table, but then I realized that you were also speaking at the event. Yes. And I was like, 14, 16. Eh, maybe not, but anyway. <laughs> <laughs> but I realized I was like, "Are you kidding me?" And I was so fascinated by that because I, you know, again, I was a kid. You know, we have kids in our family, and there's no, um, I couldn't understand. I was just so amazed by Thank you. Thank you. But you also wrote a book. Yes. I go and I approach you, and you also wrote a book, and your book is the city, the city of dreams. Of dreams, Atlanta. Yes. Tell me about your dream. What is this about? So the City of Dreams Atlanta is my book that me and my mom wrote together. So it's about a girl named Dream that is based off me and she travels around Atlanta experiencing the food and culture. So we started off with the first book in Atlanta because that's where I'm from. But we um, want to make more, we're going to make more books around other countries so we can um, tell about their food and their culture as well. Okay, fantastic. So eventually, do you want to learn how to make pastries from other countries also? Yes, I'm um, learning just how I started my business, YouTube. I'm also looking um, at different people on YouTube to learn different um, ways of baking. Okay, so you started with Atlanta, and the goal is to go state to state and country to country, yes. and to continue to write the stories based on this little girl whose name is Dream. Yes. I love it. Thank I you. love it. Thank okay. You. So you're an author. I want to know about your business. Okay, so um Ashayla, you have created a box. Yes. And I'm very impressed with the box because the box you you've put your curriculum so you don't just bake cakes and sell the cakes made, but you've stepped it up a notch. And you're also giving them a notch. I love that. <laughs> stepped it up a notch, right? To make me up a notch. So you stepped it up a notch, and you also have a box that you put together. Tell me about the box. What's in the box? Who do you try to reach with this box, and what is the intention of it? So with this box, we integrate Bakeology, which is a way to use STEAM to enhance the um, future careers in science, technology, um, engineering, arts, and mathematics. So what we have inside the box are pre-packaged ingredients and they're pre-labeled so they have like blue and pink so 
if your little one doesn't know how to read yet, then they will know um, that all the blue ingredients go together and all the pink um, ingredients go together. Okay, um, <laughs> I'm blown away. So you're actually not just baking cakes, you're actually educating kids in yes. the areas of steam, which are so incredible now because right now that's what they're using. Yes. That steam is really all the rage because that is technology and that's the future. Yes. So you're actually doing that through baking. Yes. Okay. And bakeology is the system that you're using when baking. So you're teaching children of all ages. All ages. Okay. And of all nations because it's really global because if they can't read English, they have the color coordination. Yes. So they'll see all the blues together, all the pinks together, and they'll know how to put it together, even if they can't read English. Is that, is yes. that accurate? Yes. Wow. <laughs> That's amazing. And so, in the box, so every, every month they get, because you said it's a it's subscription. Tell yes, me about subscription. the subscription. So each month you get a different recipe. So September's box with red velvet, October's box is a lay on rainbow layered dream cake and it just goes on and on. So that's pretty much the subscription part. Okay. But when the subscription part, I noticed that you're also giving them tools. Yes, so September's tool was either a whisk or a spatula. Okay. And then next month's box, which is October, will be the um measuring cups. Okay, so then you're not just teaching them, you're not you're also giving them tools, so every month they'll have tools. Yes. So let me ask you a question. Is this something that they can use like in a science project? Of course, because of STEAM, you also have um in the bottom of the recipe cards, they they ask questions. They ask, How did you use STEAM? And um on the actual recipe it says, um, art. You need to um decorate your um Cupcakes. So at the bottom it says, "How did you use art when you was decorating your cupcakes?" So it's just so it's so many different ways that you can use this box. Amari, what do you think of this? I think it's awesome. <laughs> I think it's awesome. So the, she does the baking, and she has the box with the baking. Yes. When are you creating your box with? I that's the one I want with the waffles and chicken. That's coming up soon. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah, because you, you really, that's something that you can absolutely teach. And um, you're giving them tools. You're giving, you know, you're really teaching them very, like, concrete information that's really critical. Because I think the biggest problem with STEAM, and that's one of the things that I brought up when I was at the STEAM conference when they were speaking, I said, making it applicable, I think it's so much easier. For me, learning math was easier when I was able to apply it to what my, you know, things that I was interested in. And so for kids that are interested in cooking and who are interested in baking, you're bringing that component into them. So even if it's a phase, even if it's a short time that they want to bake, you're giving them the opportunity to do that through through this system, through the box, through teaching them, you know, actually, you're at, you, there's so much to you. My goodness, you're not you're a baker, you're a teacher, you're an entrepreneur. You're 14 years old. <laughs> you I've conquered the world already. What are you gonna do when you're 30? I'm, <laughs> who knows? Know. Who knows? I mean, I, I love your also. You have you guys have your little name tags and you have shirts and embroidered and you. So now the holidays are coming up. Tell me about how can people reach you? How can they reach you for pretty much anything? If, if you can sell them the cupcakes made or cakes made or, you know, I see. Tell me about this. I know this is organic. You have organic um, um, cookies. We have organic chocolate chip cookies. Um, these are my famous cinnamon oatmeal and raisin cookies and they're one of my best sellers and they're amazing. So, um, with the question you asked about how people can reach me, on all social medias, I am Cook Me Up A Notch. My website is cookmeupanotch.com. You can pre-order, I mean, you can order my book, sorry. You can get a kit. Um, you can subscribe to a kit. And I forgot to mention that with the box and my book, you also have an education component with it. So, in the back of my books, we have um, comprehension questions. Um, and we also have STEAM questions in the book as well. So, we partner my book and my kit kind of go hand to hand. So everything kind of goes together. I have to tell you, 
She's unbelievable. This is an unbelievable book. You have really kind of conquered the world. You've conquered the world at such a young yes. age. I'm, I'm looking at this and I'm fascinated. Tell me about school. Where do you go to school? Not necessarily where, but you know, what, what are you learning in school and what is your goal for your future? Well, um, the school I go to is middle school and we are trying to start getting STEAM um, classes in our um, school. So I was really, um, was going to um, volunteer and um, teach my curriculum or actually go into the schools. And I'm trying to go into the schools with my curriculum, Bakeology, and teach STEAM in the schools. Fantastic. So Amari, um, I have a question for you. Where, where do you see yourself in the future? I know you have a lot of plans and there's a lot of things that I'm hearing about you. So, well, I want to be a chef when I grow up and I also want to have a closing line called College Academy. Oh, I love it, I love it. So you're all, but you're also writing a book I hear. I don't know, rumors have it. Tell me about the book. Well, about my business, I want to teach other kids what what is a car, how is a car made, what makes a car drive. Okay, okay. And are you going to be using also the STEAM component? Yes. Oh, these kids, I swear. I want to be you guys. I want to go back, <laughs> be, be this age and be able to be, to have those kind of dreams and make them come true this is unbelievable yeah. so the both of you are really a powerhouse yes are really a powerhouse so when are you going to retire your parents tell me well i want to retire my parents so <laughs> so i mean i i plan on you know making it be before i finish college okay um and with the um, cars that he was talking about, it's a lot of engineering and math all built up in cars. So we also we really have a lot of steam going on. It's just, it's just amazing. I think it's fascinating. It's fascinating. Amazing is just, you guys blow my mind. <laughs> blow you. my mind. This is amazing. So we want, again, if people want to buy the cakes from you, if they want, and this is this age, you know, is this a certain age limit? No, it's for all ages. I mean, I feel if you like to eat, then you have to. I mean, if you like to eat, you love these box. Okay. I like to eat. Okay. A lot. Yeah. And I love my boxes. And you love your boxes, and every yes. and you because you're giving them so much yes. in these boxes. You're teaching them stuff. Yet they're able to bake. They're able yeah, to. As I said, like with all ages, it's color coded and it's pre measured. So all you have to do is dump them in. All you have to do is follow the colors. And with my book, it's just. It's like it has a lot of history in it. So if you don't really like history, but I mean you love history, but you really don't like to like learn it, it's a really fun way to learn history. In my books, we got Joseph B. Larry, we got Barack Obama, we have fun, um, Oprah Winfrey, we have um, a whole bunch of other people, um, black and um, a bunch of people, African American um, people in this book. Okay. Okay, so you're bringing history, you're bringing in steam, yes. you're teaching, you're cooking, you're an entrepreneur, you're selling them a box, you're, you're selling organic, you know, foods or organic bake, yes. you know, baking, you're bringing in the, the steam through math, engineering, and science with the cars. You guys make me look bad. Oh, make me look no. bad. Make me look bad. Because it took me so long like to get here. And I'm telling you, I'm fascinated. I am truly, truly fascinated. So I want to thank you because I know you guys are busy. Thank you. And I know that you're in school. And I know, Amari, you have a lot going on. But you guys took the time to come here. We are I'm, very glad we came. I'm it's blessed. Really fun. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you so much for coming. So I'll be seeing you soon. I'm going to have you back when you have that book. Okay? All right. You ready? Okay. Thank you. Okay. When do you think you'll be done with the book? About maybe around next year. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. And I, again, I know that it's going to take time because you're bringing in all of those other components with the science. So it's not just a a book about cars, but you're actually bringing in an educational piece to it. Amazing. I love it. All right, guys. Thank you so much for thank being you. here. Okay. All right, guys, this is the end of this episode. I look forward to seeing you again next week with another episode with another amazing person. Okay, thank Bye. you. Bye-bye. 
I want to thank you for being with us on Business Foresight, always creating strategies towards an extraordinary future. Remember, I'm here with you with strategies every Saturday. I'll see you next week.